What's going on, everybody? On today's show, we're going to be reacting to Mel Kuyper's Minnesota Vikings draft grades. We're running through each selection and kind of giving you guys my thoughts on each of the Vikings draft picks. Overall, I thought the Vikings had an okay draft, which I wish it would have addressed corner a little more. Let's get into it. The Vikings draft selections in the 2023 NFL draft. I love the Jordan Addison selection at 23. I did wish they went corner there, but I don't mind Jordan Addison. I think he's going to be a hell of a football player. Makai Blackman, the corner out of USC. He fits Flora's system really well. And then Jay War, the safety out of LSU. Expect him to be playing some nickel for the Vikes this year. And then Jaqueline Roy, the defensive lineman out of LSU. I'm a fan of that pick. I'll get into that a little more later. But then we took the quarterback out of BYU. Jaron Hall... I'm excited about him. I'm, I'm really excited. I'm very optimistic about Jaron Hall. I think he could work out for the Minnesota Vikings. Then Dwayne McBride. I think he's a hell of a player, but I do think he's going to have a tough time making this roster if the Vikings do hang on to Dalvin Cook. So we'll get in the Mel Kuyper's grades here in a second, but guys... We're in a battle right now. We are in a battle this week for gaining subscribers. Saints now is kicking our ass, and Broncos Breakdown is kicking our ass as well. Go down there, hit that subscribe, and we'll keep you in the loop with it all around the Minnesota Vikings. You guys would just hang out with us. This channel, it's really just dudes talking ball at the end of the day. Help me out. Go down there and hit that subscribe button. So Mel Kuyper's grade for the Minnesota Vikings 2023 draft class was a solid B, and I tend to agree. I think, you know, me and Mel Kuyper are on the same page here with what the Vikings did. It was good, but it was by nowhere mean, or it was by no means great. This is what Mel had to say about the Vikings taking Jordan Addison at 23 overall. He said, I thought for a little bit on Thursday that they might go for quarterback Will Levis at number 23. Thank God they didn't. They opted for a prospect who can make an immediate impact Jordan Addison will fit well as the number two wideout behind Justin Jefferson. Addison can run any route. And yeah, and that's what he did in his career at Pitt and then transferring to USC during his junior season. He dominated that 2021 season, just under 1,600 yards, 16 yards per catch, and then 17 touchdowns. I thought the Jordan Addison pick kind of caught me off guard a little bit, bit because I thought the Vikings were going to go corner, and especially considering Deontay Banks and Joey Porter were both on the board still, but the Vikings decided to go for a receiver, and they chose Jordan Addison, and some tradition with the Vikings. The Vikings have a tradition on this team of having two wide receivers. You know, since the Vikings started, it feels like they have always had two elite wide receivers and there they are I mean it started off with Randy Moss and Chris Carter I mean those are that was probably we'll see I think that was still the best duo for Vikings receivers to this day maybe Justin Jefferson and Jordan Addison can say something about that but then also Stefan Diggs and Adam Thielen that was the duo I grew up watching I fell in love watching those two they complemented each other complemented each other very very well and of all these receivers all six Randy Moss kind of being the outlier just because he was an athletic freak Carter, Diggs, Thielen, Jefferson, and Addison all run crazy routes. That's what I'm most excited about the Jordan Addison pick. Him and Jefferson, they're going to be winning their matchups left and right during the season, and I think they complement each other very well. But let me know, how do you guys feel about the Jordan Addison pick? You know, Ball, give me a comment down below. This will also be the pinned comment on today's video, so YouTube's going to throw you an ad break your way. Sit back, let it play, and let me know how you feel about the Vikings taking Jordan Addison. Now, next up, the Vikings are... Mel Kuyper grading the Vikings day two and three picks. This is where the Vikings kind of had this up and down roller coaster, in my opinion, on days two and three. I loved the pick. I hated the pick. I was kind of had mixed feelings about it, but this is what Kuyper had to say. Minnesota went back to USC for cornerback Makai Blackman at pick 102 in round three. I had that one as a little bit of a reach with better corners on the board. I tend to agree with that. He said, I like defensive tackle with Jaquan Roy in round five. He can be a solid nose tackle, which I agree again. And then he goes, I don't see NFL starter traits for quarterback Jaron Hall, but he was an extremely productive over the past two years at BYU. I never mind a day three quarterback selection too much. And then running back Dwayne McBride at 222 is my favorite selection for Minnesota. He's a top 100 prospect, averaged 155 rushing yards per game last season, and he can break tackles in the open field. He isn't likely to be a third down back as a rookie, but he is a national natural runner once he gets the ball. And I agree. I think Dwayne McBride is probably one of my more favorite picks here out of, um, out of, uh, I believe, uh, 
UAB. I think he's going to be great. But let's focus in on Makai Blackman here real quick first. I think he's going to be a great fit in the Brian's floor system. You know, when originally we took this pick, I was like 5'10 corner out of USC. Wasn't really too high on Tom Downey's board here. I questioned it a little bit. But now that I'm kind of hearing what Brian Flores has to say and saying he's going to be a great outside corner option, he honestly is a very solid, just press man corner. I think he's going to fit into what Brian Flores wants to do. And I think he's going to be able to kind of do that at the highest level. And I think that's where the Vikings were going with this pick. I think they chose Makai Blackman, who may not be as talented as some of the other corners that were on the board, but they were looking at scheme fit. And I think he fits really, really well with Brian Flores. Let's focus in on the big man out of LSU. I love this pick. Jaquan Roy, I think he is one of the more best probably value picks the Vikings had. 50 tackles last season, three and a half tackles for loss. 0.5 sacks, one four fumble recovery. Again, he's not going to be a pass rushing defensive lineman, but if you guys want a pro comp, it was actually the Vikings defensive tackle last season, Dalvin Tomlinson. I think he is very similar to Dalvin Tomlinson in ways, mainly because he's not going to be giving you an elite pass rush ability, but he's going to be that big man in the middle who's going to eat up blockers and he's going to open up lanes for a guy like Brian Asamoa and Jordan Hicks and who knows, maybe even Ivan Pace at the linebacker position. But I always say it, defensive lineman are the same kind of relationship to linebackers as offensive linemen have the same relationship relationship to running backs. They help each other out a lot. That's why I think Jaquan Roy, good pick for the Vikes. But let me know, who is your favorite Vikings draft pick? For me, I think it was, I'm going to go kind of chalk here. I think I'm going to go Jordan Addison. That's where I would go. But let me know, who was your favorite Vikings draft pick down below in the comments section? I think this was the most interesting draft pick, frankly. Fifth round, you go quarterback, Jer or sixth round, you go quarterback, Jaron Hall. And the stats, I mean, they look good, man. 3,000 yards last season, a elite touchdown. The interception ratio with 34 touchdowns and six interceptions for Jaron Hall. Listen, I think he, I'm going to say it, and you guys don't get mad at me, he could be the next Patrick Mahomes for the Minnesota Vikings. Obviously, I am kidding. But I do think Jaron Hall could be in a very similar situation as that Patrick Mahomes was in. Obviously, I'm kidding. But you know how the Vikings have a... Good, okay quarterback, top 12, top 15 quarterback, like an Alex Smith that the Chiefs had. Now you draft a guy in the later round, have him sit for a year. He could develop. That's kind of where the connection is. But no, Patrick Mahomes comps are dead. But he could be a cool developmental piece. This is another one of my favorite picks. I love Dwayne McBride. Like, I absolutely love him as a prospect. I'm honestly shocked the Vikings took him in the seventh round. But, I mean, those numbers last year, 1,700 yards. 7.4 yards per carry and 19 touchdowns on 233 carries. He is just fantastic. And frankly, I wonder if he actually ends up making this team. Because we looked at the Vikings running back that depth chart yesterday. You got Dalvin Cook. He's still on the roster. Alexander Madison, CJ Ham, uh, Kane Wangwu, and then also... Um, I'm bringing out his name, Ty Chandler. So you got six names there. Teams normally only take five players in the draft. I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see if he makes it. And I do want to tell you guys about Fanatics. We have a great deal going on over there because the Vikings first round pick Jordan Addison was the pick for the Minnesota Vikings. And we got a great deal going on at chatsports.com slash Vikings jersey. He is going to be wearing number three. He's not going to be wearing number one. Don't worry about that. So when you order this jersey, it will come in with number three. So shout out to Chatsports or shout out to Fanatics for hooking it up right now. Chatsports.com slash Vikings jersey. Get your Addison jersey today. As always, you guys can follow me on Twitter at Pat Seatman NFL. I'll keep you in the loop with all Minnesota Vikings news and rumors. If you guys did make it this far on the video, go down there, hit that subscribe button you clearly like what we're doing here hit that sub button help us catch saints now and broncos breakdown see you guys next time skull vikes